look, uh, I have a company that is an e-commerce company and people are buying and they are buying from stores all over Uganda. And those stores all over Uganda, it's tidbits of things. Someone buying a toothbrush, another one buying a jacket, another one buying a shoe, another one buying, you know, a hair product. And the question is, how do we know trends? How do we know which product should be produced in a factory? How do we know what size of a tooth, toothpaste should be created? Yet people are buying, and these factories are creating for that buying. So the thing is that by the time you collect all that data and understand the trends around it, probably you need to collect it in, 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 in stored files somewhere and things like that. So what has happened is that the people who are in global commercial, you know, global commercial environments have decided that can we have an engine that gets to collect this speed of enterprise and speed of e-commerce. Now the question is, uh, where is artificial intelligence going? And the case is being made that the information, the closer the information or the closer these engines are to where the action is actually happening, the better for everyone. So it is pushing out from central systems to age systems. And those age systems, it starts global, now it is going country specific. They put instances in those places. Now the thing is that when you talk about speed and you talk about velocity and you talk about bits of data being produced, say like the velocity at which TikTok videos are being produced right now, how can we know who is creating quickly and creating the most effective that one that syncs and which pattern actually gets us the best outreach if you're using TikTok for your marketing. Do we have the connectedness? Is, is it 4G? Is it 5G? Is it fiber? Is it, uh, you know, what is the connection we need to feed these engines? And I should say the country is ready at fiber. If we place those instances in a, um, uh, in a place that has a very good density of these connections from all the providers in the country, they can provide quite substantial amount of uh, connectivity to those engines. Then we go next. Are we ready for, to provide the amount of power needed for this computing to happen? Dense in one area. And the answer is that it is not the whole country that is ready, but it is in silos in data centers like, um, like Raxio. Raxio has the amount of power that would at least uh, power uh, uh, an artificial intelligence instance within the country.